Hey folks, welcome to Bifi Bricks. Hope you're all well. In today's video, it's a look at my latest couple of monster truck mocks. It's super sunny again today, so I'm back in the garden filming, and it's great because you can really see this fantastic teal colour in all its glory. Both of these mocks make good use of the car bodies from existing 1950s style Lego sets, and the chassis are reused from other sets as well. They are the perfect size at 6 studs wide, and the wheel arches are wide enough that it doesn't look weird. This is a bit of an odd reference, but when I was a kid in the 80s, one of my favourite shows was Mask, which stood for Mobile Armoured Strike Command, and this was such a cool show, the intro music was awesome, and the Kenner toys were out of this world. And this was one of the coolest vehicles, it was called Hurricane, and it was a 1950s style Chevy that transformed into this six-wheeled sort of monster truck thing. And I'd love to make a Lego set of this, but actual monster trucks would be just as cool. And there are plenty of examples of this kind of vehicle that exist in real life. Even a pink Cadillac version exists. So I thought it was really fitting to transform the fabulous LEGO Ideas Gift with Purchase set 40448 into one of these. I love the box design with this beach background. This set is really cool, I love it. But a few modifications, like making it single seat and rejigging this interior, and it used to look like this but I've removed the teal door design and made the side stronger. If you're familiar with this set, you might be aware of the very frustrating surfboard assembly on this side. It falls off really easily because it's only held on with two studs. Problem solved, I've added an extra row of those side stud pieces and now it's a solid build. The exhaust sits nicely underneath, and I added a whole load of those engine pieces, the chrome ones here as well. And the whole chassis has been reworked to accommodate the car shell on top. You might even recognise this chassis origin, which is from the Creator Burger Van set. I had this leftover from when I did my recent Joker van build, and it's a truly brilliant LEGO chassis. The suspension is fantastic, and it had this neat sliding staircase build as well. And you know what, that suspension is something that really adds playability to this mock as well. It's really fun to just drive it about and nudge it along like this. It's so flexible and durable, brilliant! For the second truck, I rebuilt the pink caddy from the 1950s modular diner set, and we have this older LEGO City monster truck which has a decent chassis to use for it. Similar to the other one, I rebuilt the interior to make it single seat, and I smoothed off all the interior space and made it more curved. I also put a sloping windshield on it. I tried to make a much more aggressive looking front, but I still wanted to keep those classic lines, and I wanted to kind of copy the idea set with a different shaped bumper design. And with an engine block added onto the bonnet, it really changes it into a more monster truck appropriate look. I ended up sticking the exhaust onto the side here instead of underneath, and at an angle like this, it sort of flows into the wings as well, so it kind of looks okay. I elongated the wings and rejigged the whole rear end to look more like a real Cadillac Coupe, Coupe de Ville, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Thank you. 
The suspension on this is a different design and uses elastic bands for tension. It's not as robust as the other one, but it does the job and there's a decent range of height adjustment. If you remember, this chassis came from this truck, which I rebuilt as a 4x4 truck instead. It still has pretty big wheels, and around the back I added an opening tailgate and a flatbed. And I've curved out these edges here, and you know what? It's nothing special, it's just nice to have another vehicle and make use of those parts as well. And hey, side by side, they're looking pretty neat. It's kind of like they were meant to be this way. And even with the orange wheels, the colors kind of match. I would have loved to have had some chrome shiny wheels in silver, but I don't have anything like that without spray painting them, I suppose. And close up, you can see how similar I got the front to look and the elongated body on the pink one works really well in comparison to the teal one. Overall, even with different chassis designs, they both look like they belong together and it also reminds me of the Hurricane vehicle from the Mask TV show, which is kind of neat. I'd love to know what you think. Have you made anything similar, especially with that teal idea set? It's a really interesting vehicle. I hope LEGO makes more 50s era vehicles. There is the new uh, 18 plus sort of creator style version coming out in October and there are some great mocks out there on the likes of Pinterest but some more official smaller sets would be brilliant. Anyway if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up I really appreciate the support and if you want more content like this then why not subscribe to my channel. My videos cover my mocks, money saving tips and new Lego set news. So if that sounds interesting, then subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And whilst you're here, why not check out some of my other videos too and I'll catch you next time. Bye.